an interesting footnote in uh, locomotive design in Great Britain uh, in the 1930s was the development of aerodynamics, either through wind tunnels or theory. And uh, I think it's fair to say that the best exponent of this would be the A4 Pacifics of the LNER by Sir Nigel Gresley. Of course, Mallard being the holder of the fastest steam locomotive at 129 miles an hour. Closely followed by the LMS with the Coronation Series, and in both cases, top speed was a factor in the design. Also, both of those locomotives were designed as a holistic um, aerodynamic design from the start. Everything was designed around speed and efficiency. Lesser known slightly was the efforts by Bullied on the uh, Southern Railway, nicknamed the Spamcans. But even less known were the efforts of the Great Western Railway, which I think definitely fall into the theory bracket rather than uh, wind tunnel um, testing. Now, in the 1920s and 30s, there, there were a lot of pressures on rev on uh, finances at the four big group grouping uh, four big groups and uh, that was no less so for the great western so any improvement in efficiency and fuel consumption um, was gratefully received and i think this was the basis that the great western railway were aiming at with their effort at aerodynamics rather than an increase in top speed. The locomotive it was applied to was a King class or 6000 class and the locomotive in particular was number 6014 King Henry the uh, which was converted in March 1935 predating the A4 Pacifics from the LNER by two months but as I said earlier they were more of a, a complete design aimed at speed and aerodynamics. And I think it's fair to say that bragging rights on this one go to the LNER. Um, much as I love the um, Great Western, I think it's fair to say that the LNER effort was far more successful. In fact, it was only one locomotive that was converted, as far as I'm aware, by the Great Western and it was returned back to stock form in 1943. Anyway, it's still an interesting uh, footnote. I don't think the uh, improvements in efficiency were considered viable enough to uh, go further with this by the Great Western, which is a pity because it was the one of the four big railway companies in Great Britain that didn't really pursue fully the aerodynamics um, in the way that the other three had. But as I said, the Great Western's priorities were very different. And sadly, um, this is as far as they went. So an interesting footnote in history. Obviously, the conversion wasn't preserved on any of the, lo the kings that uh, made it through to preservation. And we will never see it on the on the railways again. But it was an interesting proposal and uh, worthy of um, a little feature here. I hope you've enjoyed this little short video. And uh, please do click on the like. And also hit that bell and click on all. And you will find out when more videos are uploaded. Thanks very much. Bye.